from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Ground broken on a new mental health crisis facility in Henrico's north side and police make an arrest in a murder. We'll tell you about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Friday, April 28, 2023, and it's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. A crew of county and state officials, legislators, and St. Joseph's Villa staff members broke ground yesterday on a new youth crisis receiving center that will open on the Villa campus on Brook Road in northern Henrico next year. The facility will be the first of its kind in this region. It will serve as an emergency room alternative for children and adolescents who are experiencing a mental health crisis, providing immediate support for them and allowing them to be treated locally. It will be open 24-7 for walk-in service and will have registered nurses and licensed mental health professionals on site to link children and teens between the ages of 7 and 17 to the next appropriate level of care within 23 hours of their admission. It will be able to serve as many as 6 children and teens at one time with plans to expand that number to 9. The 1,780 square foot building will be completed next year at an estimated cost of about a million dollars. You can read more about this topic right now on our website HenricoCitizen.com. A 22-year-old Henrico man faces three charges related to the shooting death of a 25-year-old man from Henrico. Youssef Ibrahim Mohammed is charged with involuntary manslaughter, reckless handling of a firearm, and obstruction of justice in connection with the shooting death April 26th of Michael Jamal Curtis. It happened in the 8700 block of Beacon Tree Lane in the Legacy at Mayland Apartment Complex in the West End just before 9 p.m. Anyone with further information about The homicide should call Henrico Police at 501-7323 or submit tips anonymously through Metro Richmond Crime Stoppers at number 780-1000. Each week we provide a recap of recent restaurant inspection reports from the Virginia Department of Health. So before you head out tonight or this weekend to your favorite spot, you might want to take a look at that list. We've got it right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. You can find it under Restaurant Watch. And be sure to check our website later today for our weekend top five. Every Friday we bring you a list of five great things happening throughout the county during the weekend. So before you make your plans, you want to take a look. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County. Henrico County is now hiring. You can visit henrico.us backslash jobs to view a complete list of all opportunities, full and part-time, that are currently available. To learn more about Henrico's commitment to its employees in the Henrico way and find out why employees like Henrico Police Logistics Asset Manager Kristen Gaines say, quote, Henrico feels like my home. It really is my family. I can't imagine doing anything else. That's henrico.us backslash jobs. <laughs>